Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. As some of you know, we have our Make a Splash campaign going on now through the end of August. Pre rinse spray valves can usually be changed out without even needing to call a plumber. I'll walk you through how to change out your current spray valve for a more efficient one. First, you'll need to turn the water off leading to the hose. So right now the water's on. We want to make sure that water's turned all the way off. Sometimes the water shutoff point is above the counter here. Other times you have to go under the sink and find the water shut off under the sink. Either way, once you turn the water all the way off, you want to be absolutely sure there's no water in the hose anymore and no water coming to the valve. Otherwise, you're going to get really wet. <laughs> um, next, you can remove the old spray valve by twisting off the valve. And you want to keep in mind that old saying, righty tighty, lefty loosey. We want to go left to loosen or counterclockwise. If you need to use wrenches, don't turn the spray valve in the clockwise direction tightly because this can damage the threads on your hose and you don't want that to happen when you're putting on your new spray valve. Next, you'll want to be sure to look inside the hose or around your old spray valve to see if you um, can find a washer. And the washer is located inside the spray hose right now and it's in really good condition, so I'm not gonna bother pulling it out but you can um, pull it out and inspect it and replace it if it looks like it's in poor condition. Um, but if it looks like it's in pretty good condition, just leave it in and we'll need it when we're installing the new spray valve. So here's our new spray valve from uh, the Make a Splash program. And all we do, we just double check the um, washer is in there and that will help to make for a nice tight seal. And then all you do is you just tighten it up by hand a little weird with the handle in the way. But once it's all tightened up again, and if it's slippery, you can just use a, a paper towel like this to really tighten it up. So we have it screwed onto the hose now. Um, this clip right here locks it in the on position, and so what you want to do is unlock that so that when you turn the water back on at the faucet, um, you're not getting wet right away. So now the water is on and we just want to look, okay, there's no leaks coming out where we screwed it back onto the hose. That's a good sign. And then we've got a great operational spray valve again. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. Yeah. Rubbed up, just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was alright. Well, I stepped out the tub and put my feet on the floor.